Your number one journalist here, Mr. Montgomery, and happy Monday. It's a new week, baby. Let's go and get this dollar. Let's go and get this money. There's no excuses. Next week, I want you guys to be commenting what you got up to this week. Now, Wizkid, uh, all the time when I do a story about him, there's some form of controversy with him, whether it's good controversy or bad controversy. There's no such thing as bad publicity in the world we live in nowadays especially when the publicity comes with somebody next to you your name will always be brought involved whether it's someone on your team whether it's someone in your house or your bodyguard yes ladies and gentlemen Wizkid's bodyguard was stabbed multiple times over the weekend at a club with not just a normal kitchen knife, with not a butter knife, you know, the knife you spread, you know, butter on your on your toast, and it's all calm. No, a machete, a long inch knife. Now, the reports of this, as his bodyguard's name is, is Roy, uh, he was stabbed at the DNA Club in Lagos on Saturday night. Um, this comes after Wizkid posted a Lamborghini a couple weeks ago. About a month ago, you guys can see right here, he was in a Lamborghini shop, and somebody was with him, gassing him up, saying, yeah, he got the Lamborghini, rare, 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 man. I need to get my own Lamborghini, I'm not even gonna lie, like. The Lamborghini that Wizkid had in this video is cold. And I think I actually want to get it for myself. So he posted that Lamborghini. Um, and of course, Wizkid's bodyguard. Wizkid wasn't in Nigeria at the time when this was going on. And Wizkid's bodyguard was in the club having a good time. And the club owner came up to Wizkid's bodyguard, Roy, and said, Listen, bro, like Wizkid just posted up a Lamborghini. He owes us money. Because the last time he came to this club, he, he got a tab of drinks and he didn't pay. Up to this day, he has not paid. Where is the money? Now, of course, if somebody owes you money, especially someone that's rich, I don't know if that's happened to anyone here, but someone that owes you money is flaunting on social media with wealth. You know, let's say somebody owns you, I don't know, 50,000 naira, yeah? The person owes you 50,000 naira and they're like, yeah, I'm going to give it to you one day. And no word, you don't hear no word about this person. And the next day, you're on social media and you see this person flexing, new chain, roly. You're going to be upset. You're going to be frustrated because it's like you gave this person time to bring the money. Now, the, now it's like the person is kind of disrespecting you. And I'm sure that's how the club owner felt. Now, he went up to Roy and said, look, Wizkid owes us money. He's put out a video of him in a Lamborghini. Now he owes this club millions of naira and he needs to clear the debt. Now, of course, Roy said, listen, in a calm way, report somebody that was actually there said reports. He was calm. He was fine. And he said, look, when Wizkid is back in the country, he's going to pay and he's going to sort everything out. The club owner didn't take to this and they pulled him to the side. He got into a fight and um, th there is graphic pictures of this. I wanted to tell the whole story um, and they chopped his head. They cut his head, they cut him and everything like that. But he is fine. There's a video of him and he's just calm and he's just walking. He's fine. He's just, there's there's no problem with it. So Wizkid's bodyguard Roy is in a stable condition. He is fine. There will be further correspondence of this. But let me know what you lot think. How do you feel about somebody owing you money but using the money that they owe you to buy things that they don't necessarily need so they're flexing? How do you feel about that? How do you go about when somebody owes you money? If somebody owes you money and they pay and they pay it late, does that show something about their character? Let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section below, please. And follow Afrochop on Instagram and on Twitter. It's all there, please. In a bit, guys. I hope you have a wonderful week. I'm out.